Hello everyone, welcome to Route to Mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve an interesting exponential question. So the given question is, find the solution of x in 3 plus 2 root 2 whole to the power x square minus 8 plus 3 plus 2 root 2 whole to the power 8 minus x square equals to 6. So here we are asked to find the solution of x from the given equation. So without any delay, let's start the solution. So we have one and only equation that is 3 plus 2 root 2 whole to the power x square minus 8 plus 3 plus 2 root 2 to the power 8 minus x square equals to 6. So in the next day we can write this equation as 3 plus 2 root 2 whole to the power x square minus 8 plus 3 plus 2 root 2. 2. Here in the power we will take minus 1 common so we have x square minus 8 equals to 6. So here you can see that here we have negative power. In order to convert this negative power into positive power we will apply an exponential rule that is a by b whole to the power minus n is equals to b by a whole to the power n so by just doing reciprocal we can convert this negative into positive power so this implies is 3 plus 2 root 2 whole to the power x square minus 8 plus 1 by 3 plus 2 root 2 whole to the power x square minus 8 equals to 6 so here let's take m equals to 3 plus 2 root 2 whole to the power x square minus 8. So our equation becomes m plus 1 by m equals to 6. Now let's just take LCM. So we have m square plus 1 equals to 6m. This implies this m square minus 6m plus 1 equals to 0. Here we have a quadratic equation. In order to find the value of m, we will apply a quadratic formula. That is when ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0, then x equals to minus b plus or minus root over of b square minus 4ac by 2a in this quadratic equation we have a equals to 1 b equals to minus 6 and c equals to 1 so by applying this quadratic formula we can write m equals to minus of minus 6 plus or minus root over 6 square minus 4 multiplied with 1 multiplied with 1 divide by 2 multiplied with 1 so this implies is m equals to 6 plus or minus root over 36 minus 4 divided by 2 this equals to 6 plus or minus root 32 divided by 2 this implies is m equals to 6 plus or minus 4 root 2 divided by 2. So we can write m equals to 3 plus or minus 2 root 2. So now value of m is m equals to 3 plus 2 root 2 or m equals to 3 minus 2 root 2. So we have taken m equals to 3 plus 2 root 2 whole to the power x square minus 8. Let's just put this value of m here. So we have 3 plus 2 root 2 whole to the power x square minus 8 equals to 3 plus 2 root 2 whole to the power 1. So here you can see that both the side the bases are same. So we can equate the power. So we have x square minus 8 equals to 1. So we can write x square equals to 9 and x equals to plus or minus 3. Now Let's just solve the value of x for m equals to 3 minus 2 root 2. So we have 3 plus 2 root 2 whole to the power x square minus 8 equals to 3 minus 2 root 2. In order to equate the power we need to make the base same. So here we have plus 2 root 2 and here we have minus 2 root 2. Let's just multiply 3 plus 2 root 2 and divide 3 plus 2 root 2 with 3 minus 2 root. So in the numerator you can see that we will apply an algebraic identity that is a plus b multiplied with a minus b. So we are getting 3 square minus 2 root 2 square divided by 3 plus 2 root 2. So this implies is 
थ्री प्लस टू रूट टू होल टू दी पावर एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस एट इक्वल टू वन बाय थ्री प्लस टू रूट टू ओके सो वी कैन राइट थ्री प्लस टू रूट टू होल टू दी पावर एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस एट इज इक्वल टू थ्री प्लस टू रूट टू होल टू दी पावर माइनस वन हेयर यू कैन सी दैट बोथ द साइड द बेसिस आर सेम सो वी कैन इक्वेट द पावर so we have x square minus eight equals to minus one. this implies x square equals to plus seven. this implies x equals to plus or minus root seven. so the value of x is equals to plus or minus three or plus or minus root seven is our answer. I hope you have understood the solution. thanks for watching. please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button for more such interesting videos. thank you.